so this term derivative of the function here it is a continued part of a limits here so this is also very important uh, part here because uh, you are using this one in uh, first year second year even in a diploma or uh, engineering and so on and therefore this is a basic things here the definition of a derivative stress that us suppose uh, f is a real valued function and a is a point in its a domain of a definition the derivative of f at a is denoted by limit f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h as h is equal to 0 provided this limit exists here. this limit exists means sir it is a definite value this limit exists means it will have the definite value then we can say the limit exists here if it is a not a definite value in that case we say the limit does not exist here okay the limit exists yavaga anta telandre the definite value irbeka the value definite illa antandaga avaga limit does not exist anta helthevu provided this limit exists derivative of f of f of x at a is denoted by f dash of a therefore here this derivative is denoted by this f dash of a f dash of a is equal to limit of us f of a plus h minus of the f of a divided by h as a h tending to zero i will explain uh, this one by taking one the uh, diagram here okay so there is a curve here the curve is uh, y is equal to f of x here take a point of p on the curve means uh, at uh, this point point here at the point a then this head is uh, f of a here so just put x value here we get f of a therefore uh, x coordinate is a and y coordinate is f of a take one more point of uh, on the same curve here take a point of q then uh, this distance uh, taken as a plus h here total distance as a plus h because this distance h in here this distance a therefore total it is a uh, a plus h here so again substitute a plus h here then uh, y coordinate means so this height uh, this height is a uh, f of a plus h so x coordinate a plus h uh, y coordinate is uh, f of a plus h here therefore uh, this is uh, h in here pr is h okay and uh, this side here this side is f of a plus h then uh, what about uh, this side here here uh, this side uh, is given by f of a plus h minus f of a okay f of a plus h minus of a f of a this side is a f of a plus h and uh, this side is a f of a here. this is a f of a therefore uh, only this side means a qr qr is a f of a plus h minus f of a so according to this definition here f dash of a is this one here therefore uh, here this is a qr f of a plus h minus f of a q r and h h is a, this is a pr h is a pr then you know that uh, in this uh, triangle here p q r in this uh, triangle uh, <coughs> okay consider this angle is a pi here this angle is a pi and this angle is a theta then this angle is also theta here. this angle is a theta and uh, this angle is a pi here. okay then uh, in this uh, triangle here tan means uh, opposite divided by adjacent side here therefore uh, qr divided by pr qr is a uh, opposite side uh, then the qr is a uh, adjacent side here opposite divided adjacent is tan here and uh, when the point q coincides with the p tending to p q tending to p and q tending to p then this h tending to 0 h tending to 0 means uh, 
10 this distance reduces to reduces or tending to zero then this point q moving towards the pier you just observe here okay here is the curve here okay then this is the chord here pq and uh, this is the tangent at the point p here is the tangent this is the chord here suppose the point q comes here okay beginning a h is this one here if a point comes here then this becomes a chord then uh, again it is a uh, nearer to p then uh, this distance uh, reduces here suppose the point q comes here then this is a uh, h here then point comes here then this is h means a uh, here this distance reduces here reduces to zero when the point q tends to p then h tends to zero okay then the q tends to p then the h tends to zero this distance reduces to zero tends to zero yes sir as h tends to zero q tends to p then the q r divided by p r becomes tan of theta then this point q coincides with the p then this becomes sort of tangent at p okay this becomes tangent at p then this is a theta h. okay so this angle is theta r then sir here this is a triangle tan of theta r tan theta q is what is slope of the tangent here so tan theta is a slope of the tangent at the p r then sir f dash of a always represents tangent to the curve at the point a ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಫ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಎ ಏನ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದೇನು ಲೈನ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಲೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟಚ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅವಾಗ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಲೈನ್ ಕರ್ವ್ ಗೆ ಏನು ಟಚ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕ ರೇಖೆ ಆ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕ ರೇಖೆಯ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಇಳಿಜಾರು ಈ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕ ರೇಖೆಯ ಇಳಿಜಾರು ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಫ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ E point ಒಳಗೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎ ಇದೆ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಇದು ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಹೌದಾ ಈ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಎಫ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಎ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಟಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರಿಯರ್ ವೈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಎಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೈ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೈಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೈಟ್ because f of a plus h this is x coordinate this is a y coordinate here then uh, <coughs> here qr becomes uh, f of a minus f of a f of a plus h minus f of a because this is a f of a this is f of a plus h then this is uh, this is qr gives f of a minus f of a and this is a h unit because this is a a unit uh, this is a plus h uh, this uh, distance is h unit here then uh, according to this definition this is a qr and this is a pr qr upon pr means suppose it divided by adjacent side r so then uh, as h tends to zero as a h tends to zero is tends to zero then the point q coincides with the pr q coincides with the p then uh, here this chord becomes a tangent if chord is there or the tangent is converted avaga then actually tan theta varu tan theta always depends on the slope here slope of the line this is a tangent here that's a slope of the tangent is a f dash of a is equal to tan theta therefore derivative always represents a slope of the tangent nenkalli derivative yavaglu tangent of the slope ayiru okay therefore in general we can define the function here suppose a f is a real valued function the function defined by limit f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tending to 0 wherever the limit exists uh, is uh, defined to be the derivative of f at a, x here and is uh, denoted by f dash of x thus this uh, definition of derivative is also called a uh, first principle of uh, derivative therefore f dash of x equal to limit f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tends to 0 in the previous case in the previous definition we are taking a particular at the point a okay at x is equal to a the derivative 
of the function is a f dash of a n. There are so many points here. There are so many points. Uh, in each part, uh, you can find uh, it's a derivative. In each part, you can find it's a derivative. Therefore, in general, we can write uh, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tending to 0. In previous definition, we can write particular one part from the left to the right. So, we can write the second part from the left to the right. So, we can write the second part from the left to the right. So, we can write the second part from the left to the right. So, in general, we can write f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h tending to 0 is a f dash of x here. f dash of x is also denoted by d by dx of f of x or dy upon dx or d1y d1y or d dash d dash y or y dash or y1. This is all the notation of that f dash of x here. Okay. Find out the derivative of the following functions from first principle with respect to x here. So, such type of examples are very important and each carries a 3 marks. Okay, therefore, uh, these are very important uh, examples here or the derivation of the functions here. Therefore, uh, you find the uh, derivative of this function with respect to x from first principle here. So, we know that. Uh, the definition f of x is equal to limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as a h tending to 0. This is the definition. Okay. Then this is equal to limit of h tending to 0. f of x plus h is the here, f of y is a sin x here. Okay. Y is equal to sin x means f of x here. f of x is equal to sin x here. Okay. Because, you know, y is equal to what here? f of x here. Okay. Y is equal to f of x. Instead of y, even you can take f of x also. f of x plus h means replace this x by x plus h here. Sin of x plus h minus of f of x is the sin x here. So, right here, sin x divided by h here. Okay, f of x plus h means replace x by x plus h here. Sin of x plus h minus f of x is the sin x here divided by h. And you know the trigonometry formula here. So, sin x minus of sin y is equal to what here? 2 into cos of x plus y divided by 2 into sin of x minus y divided by 2. This is the formula. Therefore, sin x plus h minus of sin x can be written as so using that formula 2 into cos of x plus h plus x here x plus h plus x divided by 2 here into then a sin of x plus h minus x divided by 2 here whole divided by whole divided by h 2 cos of x plus h plus x divided by 2 into sin of x plus h minus x divided by 2 here then this x and uh, this x get cancels here. Therefore, this is equal to limit of uh, h tending to 0 2 into cos of x plus x becomes a 2x here yeah? plus h uh, divided by 2 into sin of uh, h upon 2 yeah? sin of uh, h divided by 2 divided by you can write this h like this here. Yeah? Okay, because uh, you know a into b divided by c can be written as a upon c into b or a into b divided by c also. You can write this one in this form or in this form also. Therefore, 
Here this total return divided by h is there. I am taking a sign h upon 2 divided by h f. And here x plus x becomes 2 x plus h divided by 2 Then this is equal to limit of h tending to 0. 2 into cos of 2x divided by 2 2x divided by 2 plus h divided by 2 into limit of sin h divided by 2 divided by h as a h tending to 0. Limit of this function, okay, and limit of this function here, according to the algebra of limits here. Here a sin h upon 2 divided by h f, numerator h upon 2, and here only h f. Therefore, multiplying a 1 by 2 and dividing by 1 by 3. Multiplying and dividing by 1 by 2. 1, 2, 2 cancels again, we we'll get the same result here. In the 2 method, we cancel the result, we get the same result. So, we get the same result. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, multiply with the divide. So, then uh, this 2, and this will cancel here. Limit of uh, this term here, direct to put h equal to 0. Put h equal to 0. Therefore, this is equal to 2 into cos of h becomes a 0 here. x plus a 0 into. And the limit of uh, this becomes 1 here. According to the limit formula, this becomes 1 into. 1 upon 2 constant here, write as it is here. 1 upon 2. Okay. Here put h value 0. So 2 into cos x plus 0. 2 into cos x plus 0. And limit of this becomes 1 here into 1 upon 2. Then this 2, this 2 cancels here. Therefore remaining is what here? Cos of x. Therefore y is equal to sin x. Derivative is cos x. You can write like this here. Differentiation of sin x. Is equal to cos x here. So this is a important formula. So each and every steps are important here, and it carries a three marks in the annual examination. Okay, annual exam ka the kathari type exam means derivation kathari. They are asking a such type of derivations here. Each carries a three marks here. So therefore, these are very important derivations. Remember, yes, practice it. Okay. Yes.